So the question I'm going to answer now is how many ads can I have in my account? So it's well worth asking if you're going to use somebody to manage your account, it's worth asking if there is a limit as to the number of campaigns or ad groups that you can have based on the fee that they are charging you, especially if it's fixed fee. Some agencies will put a limit as to how many campaigns they will create and manage for that fee. Um, so that's, that's a question you need to ask before you sign on the dotted line. But just in case you are curious as to the actual limits of um, an AdWords account, I've got all the details here. I have had to remember them. I, I, I can't remember them, so I'm going to read them off down here. Okay, so you can have 10,000 campaigns that does include any um, paused campaigns. You can have 20,000 ad groups per campaign. You can have uh, 20,000 ad group targeting items per ad group. So that's keywords for most people. Um, you can have um, uh, 300 image or gallery ads. 50 active text non-image gallery ads per ad group, 4 million active or paused ads per account. So if you're hitting those limits, then got some big questions to ask. Okay, um, just for, for completeness, tar there are targeting limits as well. Okay, you're allowed to have 5 million ad group targeting items per account. So that includes um, keywords, placements and audience lists. So I think that's enough for most advertisers. Um, 1 million campaign targeting items per account. So at the campaign level, it's things like location targeting, campaign negative keywords, that kind of thing. You can have 10,000 location target targets. Um, that includes what you're targeting and what you're excluding as well. Um, that's per campaign. Um, and up to 500 proximity targets per campaign. So that's when you're doing like the radius targeting, that kind of thing. Um, 20 shared placement exclusion lists per account with a maximum of 65,000 exclusions per list. Hmm. Um, 65, um, no, sorry, the next one, 128,000 total placement exclusions per ad group. I think that's probably enough for most people as well. Um, 11,000 shared budgets per account. I think that sounds like plenty to me. Um, you can have, you can only have 20 shared negative lists. Um, now I have actually hit this limit previously with accounts, but if you organize them correctly, once I'd reorganized things, it, it wasn't a problem. Um, 5,000 keywords per negative keyword list. Uh, 10,000 negative keywords per campaign. Uh, for display ads and video ads, a maximum of 5,000 negative keywords um, are considered, it says here. So um, 5 million rows or feed items per account. So that's if you're like using data, use, using business data and feeds to to um, to uh, create ads and use in your campaigns and ad groups, that kind of thing. Um, so 100 user generated feeds or business data sets per account, 3000 bytes per attribute. Okay, <laughs> ad extension limits. Okay, you can have a quarter of a million ad group level extensions per account there is an asterisk there so what's the huh. okay Fifty thousand campaign level extensions per account and ten thousand ad group level extensions per campaign okay so i'm sure yeah we can figure that one out but i've if you're if you have to a quarter of a million ad group level extensions in your account then um you're probably not going to be asking the question because somebody else will be dealing with that for you um so yeah that's uh for completeness that's the those are the limits in an adwords account but as i mentioned to actually answer the question 
relating to having somebody managing your account if you have large campaigns um, or you have big plans for growth then it's very well worth asking the question before you sign up to make sure there aren't any limits as to what that fee includes when it comes to the number of campaigns or the number of ads or ad groups that you can have.